In terms of the ego, um, these sort of terminologies, it's, it's a psychological terminology. Ultimately, it sort of uh, has different ideas and different thoughts around it. Now, there might not be a direct biblical e e e equivalent, but if you think about it, one of these things is part of the mind that mediates between the conscious and unconscious, um, responsible for sense of personality personal identity so think of it as that which would in a sense give you self-esteem or self-importance now ultimately you don't want that coming from self that's where the ego has got out of control in relation to the soul because it's part of our soul not our spirit and in regard to the soul if our soul is giving ourselves our own self as self-esteem self-importance self-awareness and all of that then that is coming from our interaction with the world and our history and memory which will all be part of that which is not a good thing but this but in itself the soul has uh and has been given personality and uh, the perspectives of the soul conscience mind emotions will choice all of the soul gates um, that are effectively uh, operating in our lives are designed to operate with the spirit in union with the body so no separation the problem is we separated it all up and therefore um, our life um, depending on how what we've experienced in life can drive us to performance or the need for or to be um, sort seen as a, in a particular way so ego in one sense is not bad if it actually comes our identity comes from our relationship with god and what he says about us psalm 139 says we're fearfully and wonderfully made it also goes on to say that he has a vast sum of thoughts about us and those are the thoughts that give us our identity not our own and not our own works and trying to work it so i don't think i think consciousness and identity are good things and the awareness of our identity coming from god is very good it's not good when it's driven by our own needs our own brokenness our own weakness our own uh, unfulfilled needs or anything like that so walking in the spirit should not be separate from walking in the soul and spirit because they should be one the spirit is where we should be led but actually when we're whole and in union spirit soul and body then it's seamless and it doesn't need to be separated um the ego in our identity as a son of god definitely has a role to play in our heavenly dimensions if you forget ego as a term and just say identity knowing who i am as a son of god and functioning in that sonship definitely has a role in me fulfilling my destiny if i don't know who i am i'm never going to fulfill my destiny the ego is not destroyed the soul is not destroyed the soul is good it's just been corrupted and influenced negatively by the life we've lived and the fact that we've lived independently of the spirit and god but when we become reunited spirit soul body with god then in that seamless union then that can help us live our life in fulfillment of our destiny knowing who we are knowing where we're seated in heavenly places knowing our destiny and working it out one day at a time in relationship with him so god does not want to destroy the soul he wants the soul to be completely whole and healed and in union with spirit and body and him and therefore we would be a whole person um, and i would say i wouldn't use the term ego i would definitely use the term identity um, i want my whole sense of identity my esteem how i value myself coming from who god says i am and who he's made me to be not coming from my own independence or things i do myself obviously we're in a journey of our minds being renewed um, not being conformed to this world or pressed into a mold so we're on this process of being transformed by the renewing of our minds and therefore on that journey our soul and spirit and body will come together with god more and more in union more and more in oneness as that healing and transformation takes place if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much